Hello dear students of class 7 and welcome to yet another online class of general knowledge. Dear students, today we will be doing the 13th lesson from your GK book, Music Festivals in India. You see dear children, music in itself is a celebration, right? Music expresses our mood. We have different genres of music according to different mood expressions that we want to give. We are feeling happy. There is some music for that. You want to feel motivated? There is music for that. You, are, you want to express your grief and sadness? There is music for that. You want to express your patriotism? There is music for that. Now music, since time old, has been a great tool for the entertainment of people as well as a great tool for self-expression. The word, the lyrics, the rhythm, everything comes together to form a very wonderful poetic and lyrical experience which not only makes people enjoy but also makes people brood over it. During our freedom struggle, dear children, music was one great tool in order to motivate people to rise up and fight against the British rule. So, today we are obviously free and our music has come a great way, right? Technological advancements have been there, new kind of gadgetry, editing, everything is there, right? But still, music has not lost its time-old charm. The purpose for which people used to listen to music back then, same is the purpose why we li listen to music now. Of course, timing has changed, tuning has changed, right? Earlier we used to have soft folk music which were popular. Today we have uh, R&B, hip hop, you know, uh, what do you call that, uh, uh, Buster Rhymes, stuff like that, correct? But the purpose remains the same. So children, today we'll be learning about music festivals in India. The key word here is music festival. You see, music is something that is celebrated all around the world. Big, big concerts are arranged, single artists come on the stage, they perform, our favorite artists can come on the stage, perform, right? But music festival is a bit different because music festival is not about one single artist. You see, every year, all around the world, there are huge concerts in which Every known musician, every known musician as well as budding artists, bands, you know, folk singers, classical singers, R&B singers, hip hop singers, rappers, DJs, they gather on the stage, right? And they give out performance after performance after performance. The idea is not to compete. The idea is not to compete, but to complement, but to complement the music in general. The idea is to provide people with the ultimate entertainment where under one stage they can enjoy every genre of music that is present especially in our country where the music the roots of music go deep 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 right down to the classical period down to the time where there are when there were gharanas gharanas meaning the musical dynasties the whole generation of people devoted to a single line of music, devoted to performing it, perfecting it, you know, making it fit for the modern period. So, in the same way, in our country also, time to time, such huge concerts are held and these concerts are known as music festival. And today, we'll be learning about the great music and cultural festivals that are held in India. We'll do it, name the following style, okay? So, starting with number one, It is Asia's largest music festival. It is Asia's largest music festival. Your answer is Sunburn Festival. Sunburn Festival. In this, 
all the great musicians of Asia, remember not just India but of Asia, they gather and they perform their musical abilities in front of the huge crowd. All right. Then comes number two. This Asia should not be so much. It is Asia's largest college cultural festival. held annually at IIT Mumbai. You see it's written here IIT Bombay but actually it is IIT Mumbai. Now children before we proceed, for, for, proceed further let me read out this question once for you. It is Asia's largest college cultural festival. Now, cultural festival is equivalent to school annual function. Okay. Cultural festival is the same as school annual function. Only thing is it is held on a larger scale. Now, the one we are going to talk about is Asia's largest college cultural festival. Nowhere in Asia is such a large festival, college cultural festival held. And it is held annually. That is once a year at IIT Mumbai. And this particular festival is Mood Indigo. This cultural festival is known as Mood Indigo. M -O, o D Mood. I N D I G O Indigo. Mood Indigo. Then comes number three. Now children, we will be talking about the third one, okay. It is a three-day Indian music festival. This particular music festival is held in India for the period of three days. And in 2011, it was voted as the best music festival by CNNGO. It is a cultural organization, national cultural organization. Okay, which looks after, which takes care of the cultural functions and music festivals. And it voted this particular music festival as one of the best music festivals in 2011. And this one is NH7 Weekend. NH7 Weekend. Okay. So, as you can see, now I'll have to rub the board. So, we'll revise it once, okay? Number one, it is Asia's largest music festival. The answer is Sunburn Festival. S-U-N, Sun, B-U-R-N, Burn, F-E-S-T-I-V-A-L, Festival. Sunburn Festival. Then you have number two, it is Asia's largest college cultural festival held annually at IIT Mumbai. In book, it is written IIT Bombay, but it actually it is IIT Mumbai. Alright, so it is Asia's largest college festival, okay, cultural festival. 
and it is held once a year. The answer is Mood Indigo. M W O D Mood I N D I G O Indigo Mood Indigo. Then we have third one. It is a three-day Indian music festival. It was voted as the best music festival by C N N G O in two thousand eleven. You see, it is the three-day music celebration, and this particular music celebration or music festival was voted as one of the best. Okay, by C N N G O in two thousand eleven, and your answer is N H Seven Weekender. N H Seven. Then W double E K E N D E R Weekender. N H Seven Weekender. Now we'll move on to number four. Okay, children. It is one of the India's foremost outdoor art, music, and camping festival. Now, here the keyword. Okay, what makes it different? The keyword here is outdoor art and camping festival. All right. In this particular festival, which is not held, just held for one day, it is held for many days. The artists, the audience, the everybody, they go out there. They camp up. Okay, they put up camps, and entire celebration is held. outdoors not in closed auditoriums but it is held outdoors this particular festival is known as escape okay it is known as escape music festival or just escape e s c a p e escape okay now moving on to number 5 festival usually takes place between the first and seventh of december every year now dear children this particular music festival okay this festival usually takes place between 1st and 7th of december every year every year it is held on fixed time between 1st and 7th so you can say it is a seven day music festival starting from 1st ending in ending on 7th between this particular date only between 1st and 7th only this particular music festival is held every year and your answer is hornbill festival h o r n b i l l hornbill festival okay you have hornbill festival h o r n b i l l hornbill festival so let's revise number 4 and number 5 also number 4 It is one of the India's foremost outdoor art, music, and camping festival. Your answer is Escape. E S C A P E. Escape. And this festival usually takes place between the first and seventh of December every year. Your answer is Hornbill Festival. H O R N B I L L. Hornbill. F E S T I V A L. Festival. Hornbill Festival. Now, dear children, with this. 
I end this particular chapter. Okay. Your work will be to go through the video, look at the questions there and write it in your notebook also in name the following style only. Alright. Thank you very much. Stay safe.